What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out a game called Disc Room. This is a new offering from Devolver Digital. Devolver Digital, kind of one of those punk rock companies in indies that are always like, they back weird horses, but they're almost always right. Like, they back some weird horses, and that's like kind of what they're known for, at least for me, is that like, they have a tendency to be a lot less safe than like 11-bit and some of those publishers. Like, they're less consistent, but at the same time, like, they back some really, really odd games from time to time, which means you can get some really cool original stuff out of them. Uh, so anyways, today we're checking out Disc Room. Uh, it's kind of a weird game, really hard to describe. Like, it's a game about traversing your way. So if you've ever seen the movie Cube, it's kind of like that. You're in, a, like, a cube, basically, or like a disc. And so anyways, every single room is a bunch of buzzsaws trying to kill you. And you need to figure out how to survive as long as possible in that room. And based on how long you last inside the room, you will unlock other rooms that you can then move on to after you die. So I want to be clear, you're not meant to live in this game. My first run when I was going through it, I was like, when's the door gonna open? When is the door gonna- That's, The game doesn't work like that, the door doesn't open. Uh, you always die. Like, you die every single time. The only difference is how far can you make it, and how many achievements can you accomplish for that particular room in, under, in order to unlock other rooms that are more challenging or kind of like differently laid out. So anyways, let's check the game on out. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, we'll go ahead and fiddle with it. In 2089, a giant disk is discovered in orbit of Jupiter. A crew of international scientists are sent to investigate. Alright, so I'm playing this with a controller. The game does use arrow key controls, however, they are fully re-key bindable. If you take a look over here, I would prefer to control things with WAST, but as you can see, you can go in, you can change all the keyboard settings, you can change all of the controller settings, whatever you want to do. With this game, I felt a little bit more comfortable using my Xbox controller, so that's what I'm doing here today. But the game is fully playable and re-key bindable, regardless of what way you want to experience it, which is good. Checkbox accomplished. So anyways, I'm playing with a controller. I, you know, the game is very, very simple. You really only use the left stick. Ideally, you can play this game like one-handed and really not even worry about it. So here's our first room. Our goal here is that we're supposed to die from four different disc types, and we need to be able to survive for five seconds. The development team apparently made it one minute. I made it about 30 seconds on my attempt, so we'll see if we can do better this time around. Uh, one piece of advice that I would put out there is that, like, maybe... Just maybe don't look at the timer. That's how I always get myself into trouble is I go and I look at the stopwatch and then while I'm looking at the stopwatch I get smacked almost every single time. That's like all my deaths almost and right now I'm actually physically straining against my there was nowhere to go right there I might have been able to ski through on the left But I think I set myself up for failure by going to that bottom corner uh, We can reattempt this room if we want or we can go this way. It looks like we didn't unlock the up way So we got to die from different disc types Okay. I guess we'll go this way then. Alright, what's going on in here? We gotta survive for 10 seconds. That's not that hard. We can do that. That's easy peasy. We can put that one on the map. Alright, let's dodge this thing. Definitely, like, within the realm and genre of rage games. Which I'm actually really not a huge fan of. But I don't know, dude. I was, like, fiddling with the game and I found it to be, like, kind of fun. Like, I found myself you know, screaming interjections and profanities. Like, it is a game that elicits kind of that emotional reaction when you've got, like, a really good run going, and then, like, you die and it gets spoiled by, like, two seconds shy. It's like, ah, There's nowhere to go! There's nowhere to go! <laughs> 35 seconds, though, isn't terrible. Like, for, for, like, a, for, for a go, that's not bad. I'll take it. 35 seconds is all right. We survived, we can go back over here apparently, and we can retry this one, which I am interested in doing. Like, I think this one, I can get the dev team's time. Like, I really think that I can. I should probably not hang out so close to that buzzsaw before it decides which direction its vector is going to be in. Oh, barely got away with that one right there. Okay, I kind of put myself in a bad situation. That pro- Oh, it got me with the side disc! I wasn't looking, it got me with the side disc. <laughs> Okay, we'll go up in here. We'll try a new room. That room is stupid. I'm gonna go get my own room full of buzz saws. Oh my god, I didn't know they were gonna do that. Okay, so we kind of... Oh, Jesus. Okay, all right, they get shot at me. They spin. No, I forgot about the one around the edge. I survived 10 seconds, but I forgot about it. I gotta try that again. That was just like... That was not a good effort. Like, we need to stay inland a little bit, but we also need to stay mobile while we're inland. 
All right, so we got four discs coming now. I almost ran into that one over there. Almost, I wonder if they kill you when they're not spun up. Well, they definitely kill you while they're spun up. I walked right into Apparently, we've got a new scientific ability, the ability to dash. So I can press A to dash through a disc. Well, that's kind of nice. Like, what's the, uh, what's the cool... Hold on, hold on. I was playing with my dash. You can't just, like, kill me while I'm trying to figure out how the dash works, all right? That's not fair play. All right, that's not sporting. All right, there goes the three discs right there. I'm going to try and stay away from these damn things as much as possible. They don't... That outside disc. i got to stop trying to get around to the corners. Like, there really is kind of a secret to this. Oh, almost got me right at the beginning right there. There is a secret to this one, and it's being able to memorize that exact radius that you've got around the outside edge. Yeah, I'm going to stay away from that. I didn't want to burn my dodge on, like, the first disc, but I think it had to happen. I think there's also something to be said about the possibility of being able to kind of, like, run through the middle when necessary. I didn't see that one spin up. He almost got me. I get the feel we got a pretty good run going right now, but I don't want to jinx it, dude. Yeah, okay. Alright, 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 dude! Almost had it. Almost had it. A minute and three seconds? Are you out of your mind? How did he get a minute and three seconds, dude? That felt like I was in that room for like a decade. And it was like 25 seconds. Are you kidding me? Alright, alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Dude, a minute and three seconds? Oh, overachievers, dude. Overachievers. I gotta die from a new disc type so that we can unlock that room that's up in the other direction. This looks like... Oh, that's not pleasant. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I see I see how this is gonna work. Oh my god, I'm the worst at video games. Yeah, you gotta kinda like plan this. Otherwise, I'm gonna be blocking off areas and it's not gonna be good. Oof. Ah, I just came around at the long, wrong time. There's got to be a way to plan this out. Like, there has to be. Like, my goal was to get them all going, like, vertical and, and, and down. So, up and down. So that we had a lot less conflicting directions to play around with. But I don't know how well that's going to work. Actually, I think they might... No, they do come at me. But it looks like they track the position of where you were at when you spawned, rather than when they actually fire. Ah, I could have... I gotta use my dash more. Can I dash all the way through that? I can't. Okay, so the big discs... I can dash through one of the big discs, but I can't dash through all of them when they're kind of spiked up like that. Yeah, throw that over there. Throw that over there. I'm trying to figure out what the pattern is here that I can play around with. This is not a great situation. Not one I wanted to find myself in anyways. We unlocked another disc right there, so that's good. Uh, the disc that you unlock is this thing right here. It gives you, like, lore. The rooms have a defense system. These discs are everywhere. Discs on the walls. It seems that these rooms and doors respond to my every death. I'm being forced to temper running for my life with constant observation and anticipation. If only there was more time. It's just as though this disc has altered me on a molecular level. I can now phase my existence in and out of its physical form. Why do these rooms prescribe my survival? Alright, well we died to multiple disc types, so I think we can actually officially go to this room right here. So let's play around with it. Uh, is this the one that has the shooty discs inside of it, dude? It does, it has shooty discs. Okay, is it gonna put in more shooty discs? Or is it gonna put in more big boy discs? Oh, it randomizes, okay. All right, understood. Understood there, Captain. Understood there. Yeah, I'm going to need to kind of like figure out where I want to go with this one. I walked right into that. I was looking at that gap in the middle. Oh, nice. So we unlocked all the discs on the first go there. So that's not terrible. That's good. Have we done that room? Okay, so we haven't done that room. Let me take a look at the map one more time. So there's a room right there that we haven't played around with. We still haven't gotten a disc right there, and I don't know how we get the last disc. Apparently we have to do, like, something inside that room, but we aren't exactly disclosed or appraised of what it is. All right. We'll try this one out right here. Dude, I just feel kind of, like, dread. 
every time I come into one of these rooms. I'm just like, so what's it going to throw at me? Like, I feel like a very real existential, just kind of like, all right, what's next? Like, there's, there's something freeing, though, about, like, knowing you're going to die and just trying to, like, push as far as you possibly humanly can to unlock as many things as, he, like, you possibly can along the way. I'm going to kind of, like, yeah, let me stay... Oof. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We're doing okay. We're looking good. Ah, I hit the dash button, dude. I hit the dash button, dude. I hit the dash button. Oh, that's upsetting. That is deeply, deeply... Survive zero seconds or less. All right. How do I... Oh, no. Okay, so how do I survive for zero seconds or less? They don't phase in, I think, till one second. Interesting. I mean, I guess I can do that in any room. It doesn't really matter if I do it here. I can just do it wherever, but, like... It's kind of interesting how, like, a simple idea like this actually works really, really well as a game. Like, I didn't expect it to work this well. Like, when I saw the idea, I was like, all right. Like, I, I got the presser for this one, and I was like, okay, well, it looks kind of simplistic. Like, all you're doing is dodging buzzsaws. Like, that's it? Like, what's the, what's the twist? Like, what's the thing here that kind of keeps you in your seat? And yet, at the same time, we've kind of figured out along the way that the game doesn't really need one. Uh, it doesn't really require it. I kind of want to see if I can... I died to that little disc type right there. Like, I kind of want to see if I can do better on this one. Like, and I guess that's the principal motivator right there, is like, can I do better? Like, because you always see the mistake that you made in a game like this as you make it, you know what I mean? And so you're like, alright, well I'm gonna try not to do it on the net. I didn't think that was gonna get me right there. I thought I was gonna be able to go around the left of it, but I guess it counted. Okay, we'll try the gatekeeper. What the hell is a gatekeeper? Okay, I'm dead already. That's cool, that's cool. Uh, I'm gonna assume that that right there is probably the thing that I need in order to, to kill this dude. Oh, it's like a but it's like a damage button. Okay, so it like hurts him. I wonder if he's multi-phasic. Uh, meaning he's gonna like change attack patterns or something. My guess is that this is a time trial. It's deceitfully a time trial, so like they want you to take your time, because the longer you take, the more you lose. I sort of dig like the the far the far side style comics that they use for exposition in between too. It's kind of rad. All right, what are we doing in here? And also, what is the catch? There's always a catch, man. Every single room seems really simple on the surface, and then it's not. Every single time. That's like how I always die in this game. Is that it always looks simple, and then it's not. I'm just gonna stand over here. I'm gonna do my thing. Oh, I have to stay in the middle. That's the catch. I was going to say, there's no buzzsaws around the edge, so, like, what's the catch here? Like, can't I just camp the corner? That's why. You got to stay in the middle. I think this one is probably less about movement, though, and more about finding, like, a good neutral spot. Like, because the green stuff doesn't even hurt you, so, like, who cares? The green stuff is, like, a moderate annoyance, effectively. So, like, I sort of feel like if I can just stay in the middle and keep the clock ticking, we'll be okay. That almost got me right there. Forced me off my spot, too. Ah, I thought I hit the dodge button. Like, I got to get the dodge timing down better. Like, I'm definitely hitting the button, but I'm doing it just like a, a microsecond too late. Like, I see it coming. It's not that I'm missing it. It's just that, like, I missed time. I think, like, the last four or five deaths have been me mistiming a dodge. I've just got to get better at it. I've got to get good, which I think is really what this game is trying to implore you to do. Is like, hey, stop sucking so hard. Uh, those curve, so that's going to be hard to predict. I don't love that. Apparently, they're oblong on one side. So I wonder if those were inspired by the spirograph. That's kind of what they remind me of on first glance, is those little pieces that you would fit into a spirograph back in the 90s to make all those crazy art forms and everything. Yeah, I'd like to be in the middle, but they're not making it super easy right now. Oh, you can't dash while you're inside the green stuff, so it actually does affect you. Okay. Good to know. I had no idea, so I thought I could dash while still inside the green. I could not. Yeah, your dash is completely canceled inside that. Have I died to the purple ones yet? I was gonna say, have I died to the purple ones yet? I gotta die to the purple ones. So apparently I can hold A to slow down time. Ooh, and that'll allow you to, like, skeef through everything. 
I like it. So we got all the discs from there. We did not get all the discs from here. I guess it wants me to survive for five seconds. That's really cool. I like it. How frequently can I do that? Like whenever I want? Oh, nice, dude. And it looks like it cancels out their green stuff, too. So that I can actually, like, sprint through it. Oh. Okay. All right. We're getting a little, we're getting a little crazy in here. Yeah, we're getting a little nutty in here. It's getting a little wild and crazy. The devs made it 30 seconds. Yeah, that's a tough room. I'm surprised I made it 15. Anytime they lock you into that little nipple center area, like in the middle of the room, I don't know what else to call it. Anytime you get locked into the nipple center, you're like hosed. Like, you know it's going to be a rough one. Like, you know you're going to take a whipping just trying to get your time up. Oh, we need 15 disc types. I'm just going to kill myself on this one. We don't even need this one right here. This one doesn't matter. What is, oh, I can change my ability so we can have slow or we can have dash. Okay. All right. I don't know which one's going to be more useful. I haven't really decided yet. Bunch of jerks. So defeat two gatekeepers, survive five seconds in all unlocked rooms, survive 60 seconds total in this zone. All right. Let's go. I don't know what those do. Oh, they kind of like, oh, they spin up and they spin down. Okay. Yeah, it's problematic. I don't know if I'm high functioning enough for this. Just stay in the center as much as possible. I'll go around right here. Just kind of stay frosty. I'm going to try and get up this way and get behind all this so I can find like a new camp out spot. Oh my god. Okay, I'm using up I'm using up way 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 too much of my my slow time right now. We're in like a weird safe spot right now. Ah, no! Dude, I thought I was gonna get the dev time on that one. I was feeling it. I was in the groove. I was cruising. We were at altitude. I was comfortable. My hand wasn't shaking. I wasn't nervous. Oh no, and then I just, oh dude. I choked. I choked on something dumb. No, it feels so bad. Oh, I hate my life right now. Okay, uh, let's go kill another gatekeeper. Wow. Oh, this one looks grumpier than the last one. I'm not trying to be a stickler, but this one definitely seems grumpier than the last one. Oh, I gotta stay in the middle. I deal damage based on how long I'm in the center, maybe. Oh, I gotta tick it downwards. Gotcha. Oh, almost got me right there, though. Okay, okay, we got seven seconds left. If we can get the seven seconds... We'll be all right, but we're really only grabbing like two or three seconds at a time here. Okay, three seconds left. Three seconds left. We're almost there. Just kind of... Oh, this is so bad. Oh, dude. No! It almost got me right there, dude. I was so... We got this. We got this. We got this. Stay the course. Woo. Okay. All right. All right. Palms are sweaty. Knees weak. Arms heavy. Woo. <gasps> There's another scientist here. Did he have a nuke? Bro, he had a nuke. Oh, and he's trying to kill me now. Apparently, he's in league with the disc. We must destroy him. That or he's just like a really big fan of Grimace, and I'm like a big fan of Ronald McDonald. It might just be gang-related warfare. Who knows? Yeah, almost lost it right there. Almost got destroyed right there. Dude, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just trying desperately not to get hit by butt sauce. <laughs> no, God. Okay. All right. Made my butt pucker. All right. Little uh, puckeration right there. Oof. It went a direction I didn't expect. I wasn't watching it. Ah, I saw it right at the last second. I looked down at the bottom of the screen right when it took off, and I was like, no. <laughs> like, I saw it. And I knew it was going to get me right when I saw it. I was like, oh, dude, I'm I'm hosed. I'm hosed. How far into the disc room have we gone? Oh, dude, we've gone pretty far, actually. Like, is this... Are there more rooms? I bet there are, dude. I bet there's more to it. There's got to be more to it. So gold means that I survived 20 seconds. Well, like, I got to survive 20 seconds on this one. right? Oh, the armored gatekeeper. That's You can't get 20 seconds on this one, I don't think. I mean, unless it's timing how fast you get the kill off. 
which I would assume would be on some level kind of random. Like, I'm trying to do it fast here. Wiped him out pretty quick. Oh, walked right into it. 13 seconds was my new best. So I guess, how does that work? How was my time? I wasn't able, I can't watch the timer. So I don't know what mechanism was causing the timer to go up. Oh, you get a second for every one you step on. Okay. All right, now I know. And knowing is half the battle. Armed with my time slowage, I think we're going to be okay out here. I actually very much, very, 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 very much like the gatekeeper fight. The gatekeeper fight is cool. Like, I like how it pings you and kind of moves you around the map against your will in order to complete the objective. A lot of the other ones are about staying stationary or finding, like, a spot where the axes will just kind of, or the saws will just bounce around you and never hit you. I like that that one right there with the little yellow warts or whatever they are, it forces you into the line of fire and it forces you to kind of make plays in order to push your time up. Like, I like that. It feels a lot more active and it feels a lot more proactive than some of the other rooms. I think that might be my favorite mechanic so far. So anyways, this is disc room. I don't want to spoil too much. I just realized we're like halfway through all of the rooms we have here. And while we haven't mastered them, you know, like you guys don't want to see me play the entire game. So I'll cut this preview a little bit shorter at like 20 minutes instead. So that if you wanted to get the game for yourself, there's still something here for you to explore and not spoil for yourself because we're like breezing through rooms right now. I don't know if there's like other grids or other things going on or if there's randomized chunks, but who knows? Uh, this is Disc Room. It turned out to be actually a lot more fun than I expected. Definitely one of those games that ends up being more than the sum of its parts. Because, like, when I looked at, like I said, when I looked at the presser, I thought to myself, like, eh, not that interesting. But, like, now that I've actually played it, I can see the appeal. And so, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Today up on the chopping block, we had Disc Room. Tomorrow, we will likely have something else. Make sure you check out the Discord. Make sure you check out the Twitch stream. I'd love to be your host on both locations. That's all I got. Take care, everybody, and good night.